Hi everyone and welcome to our market analysis videos here at Zenfinex. My name is Connor Woods and I'm the senior market analyst at the company, providing to you daily videos on market analysis and educational content as well. For today's video, I'm going to be analysing the GBP USD market. To do this, I'm going to run through the fundamentals first, to see what events are coming up, especially this week, and how it's likely going to shape the direction of this pair. I'm then going to move on to the chart where I'm going to identify some key levels to watch out for and to really aim for in the next 30 days or so. And at the time of recording this video, GBP USD is hovering around the 1.37 mark. Okay, so over here in the UK, the story around COVID is still there, despite pretty much being free of, of all lockdown restrictions. And as expected, cases are rising and have been throughout August. However, as a whole, I do feel that um, the feeling I get is there's a, there's a calmness around the situation. And the pound has been experiencing a pullback um, after being really bullish for a while. But I believe uh, we're now in a position where we can look to buy pound-related pairs. Over in the US, the main talking point um, for this week, especially, and, and probably for the next couple of weeks, is going to be the Jackson Hole meeting. And as I explained in yesterday's NASDAQ video, the Jackson Hole um, meeting, or conference, shall we say, it's an annual and exclusive central banking conference. And what they do is they discuss important and current policy matters. Now, for this year's meeting, it was announced uh, back on Friday that it's going to be held virtually. And it's going to run from today to, through to Saturday. But the main event is going to be the speech by the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell. And that's scheduled for 2 p.m. tomorrow. So what do we expect and how is it going to affect the dollar? Well, I think it's clear the Federal Reserve is expected to communicate its plans for slowing down there. I think it's $120 billion per month uh, asset purchase program. By slowing that down, that's really the first step towards this um, hiking of interest rates we are inevitably going to see. However, there is a risk coming from, a quite a clear risk now coming from the COVID-19 Delta variant. And in, in the US, the Delta variant cases are being described as being at their peak. And this is clouding really the outlook for uh, economic recovery there. And it's now strongly rumored that the Federal Reserve is going to delay their tapering of asset purchases. And this could lead, I think maybe till December, and this could leave some room for some dollar weakness for September. We're then going to face really an immediate test with the NFP looming next Friday. We're just going to uh, see if the call was right, whatever call they decide to go for. So the story could change really quickly, so it's important to stay ahead of these news events. And I'll give an update on them as well. Okay, so I'm looking at the chart now, and there's something that just screams out to me right away. Which, if you watched my previous videos, um, it was on a gold video. We had this exact, it looks like the exact same chart, and we had this exact same play out. Um, and it's this double bottom that's being formed here. So we have this swing low really at 1.357 ish, which hasn't been broken yet, this low here. And you can actually see where we've created this equal bottom, this double bottom. That's normally a sign that price might want to reverse. And when you think about the um, fundamentals that I just run through and the potential delaying of, of asset tapering, it kind of fits this narrative as well. So I'm quite interested to see how this how this move would play out. Now, Hi guys, thank you for listening to this video. I just really quickly wanted to touch on a really exciting offer we have on the website. It's a limited time offer and if you head over to zenfinex.co.uk, you will see the offer in front of you straight away. And this is that you can trade Forex on a standard account with raw spread plus zero commission. And now Zenfinex is also an FCA and no dealing desk execution broker. If you are interested in this offer, you can get in touch with the team by clicking learn more, or you can simply go to open an account where you can start the application process. Now, in order to get a, a valid kind of um, buying opportunity from it, well, we, we almost did miss the boat to be honest. Because we had this daily order block level, which actually run up and broke quite a few structure highs here. You can see from the 6th of July, highs from the 12th and the 11th, um, even highs back from the from the end of June. This order block did run up and break uh, that level. So this is where that move started. And you can see we did retreat all the way deep back into that level, which would have been a really nice discounted buy opportunity, which I got involved in personally, but it was from... Uh, about a week ago now, um, I hadn't done a video on, on GBP USD for the YouTube channel. Um, so we're running in, in that trade now, or I am anyway. Now, people who um, are looking for any other buying opportunities, I think the 
first of all, what you want to see is a break of this structure here. You want to see a break of this high, and then we can go and look towards around 1.38, and I think maybe a target um, for September. I'm looking at around 1.35. Now my take profit that I have for the trade that I've, I've got down here um, is back at the 200 day moving average because you, you can see that we have had these moving average crosses. So mine's at the 200 day moving average at around 1.38. I do expect the market to test this at some point. Um, for anyone looking for, and, and on, sorry, on the RSI indicator, there isn't really much to talk about. Um, we're kind of sitting in around fair value, which makes sense with the Jackson Hole coming up today, which I think is where we're going to see the volatility. Now, for anyone who is looking potentially to, to sell the market, then we are actually in a, a selling order block at the moment, which you can see we're actually having a quite a nice reaction from. So if I delete that here, because there is a chance that um, the Federal Reserve are going to be more um, hawkish, and so that means that we could see GBP USD actually drop. And you can see we have this four hour order block that I've highlighted here, order block entry. And where I think could be a, a good trade, if could be trading in between these order block levels, um, which we have done before on this channel. And if you wanted to short the market from this order block and wait for potentially another retest, then I would be aiming for the bottom of the equal lows, maybe a 4.4 hour trade, or if you wanted to be safe, um, here around 3.63 R trade. I do think really it's going to depend on um, what Jerome Powell says tomorrow and how they deal with this um, threat of the Delta variant on COVID. And I can just show you the same story on the daily chart as well. It might be a little bit clearer. You can see where we had these equal lows uh, created here. And you can see that order block level where we bought from as well. Now there is actually potential for this market to run down and test it again. From here, you could set a buy limit and you could aim for potentially the highs that we have here at 1.39 or nearly 1.4. That's around 2.42 um, uh, our trade. It's a bit of a swing hold on that one. And if you think the market's going to go even further and you think the pound's actually going to be a bit stronger, we could test this daily order block that we have in here which sees the trade at around 3R. So for me, I think this market requires a bit of patience. I like the fact it's created this double bottom. That's the thing I'm looking at the most, and I'm looking at around 1.385 uh, for September, moving into 1.4. Alternatively, um, if the asset tapering comes a bit earlier than expected or the market expects, then I expect this, this load to be broken, and we do have a lot of room for downside. I think we may go and test 1.34. But that's it today for GBP USD, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, as always, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, it does help boost our channel. Um, and we're grateful for the growing numbers of subscribers that we're getting. Um, if you have any suggestions or opinions on GBP USD, whether it's from your own strategy, which is likely to be different from mine, everyone has their own different strategies, uh, then please drop any comments in on the comment section as well. Um, I hope everyone has a, tra a great trading day, and I'll catch you all for the next video, which will be tomorrow. Thank you.